it's because I've been thinking about you so much. And you're always in my heart, and you know that. Yeah, this 25-year commemoration of Stonewall is a time to look back, and to remember, and to live, and to act. And a time to face tomorrow with hope, and trust, and conviction. This commemoration also marks uh, a significant year for me. It's 25 years exactly since my mama died. Central Park from 1969 to 1994, we have all come a long way. <laughs> I've watched and I've admired the gay community that implores people of the world to take care of themselves, to take care of each other. I've watched in awe the integrity of the community that invented and demanded safe sex. And because of days like today, the governments are starting to hear, because the people of the world understand that the reality is we must find a cure for AIDS. We must. something. I will sing this song for you whenever you need me to. If you will do something for me, the next time there's a rally or a march, I want to hear you singing it. And keep singing it. And keep singing it. Someday we'll be free. I promise you we'll be free. If not tomorrow, then the day after that. And the candles in our hand will illuminate this land. If not tomorrow, then the day after that. And the world that brings us pain, that fills our lives with fear, on the day after that, will disappear. And though war we to win, I promise you we will win. If not tomorrow, then the day after that, or the day after that. Someday we'll be free, I promise you we'll be free. If not tomorrow, then the day after that.
Stonewall 25 was the first day of our global liberation movement. The next day, out around the world, 